I never really thought they were actually going to win the game with five minutes to go. And then suddenly I look up and I go, we better get ready. They're about to win this game. What just happened? Don't take special teams for granted. And we do that every week because we're all about offense. We're all about great defensive plays. And the special teams showed up for the 49ers in the most critical moments. And they didn't show up for the Packers, and they hadn't shown up all year for the Packers. Mason Crosby had that kick blocked at the end of the first half. There's three points there. Then they had the block punt at the end of the game there that turned things around. As you, as you guys have noted, no offensive touchdowns for the 49ers. And this special teams, these issues have plagued the, the Packers throughout the year. And something else to think about, EK, we talked about for much of the season, Jimmy Garoppolo's struggles, trade, trading those three first-round picks to go up and get Trey Lance. Trey Lance was a non-factor for much of the season. You know who was a, a factor? Their fifth-round pick, Taloa Hananga, who scored that touchdown on the block kick. And Elijah Mitchell, their last pick in the draft, their sixth-round pick, who led the team in rushing again tonight, has been integral to that running game uh, for the second half of the season. So it just goes to show you that while we talk about these first-round picks as being incredibly important, it's the guys at the end of the roster, the guys that go on day three that can help your team, not down the road, but immediately. These two rookies proved to be the difference while Jimmy Garoppolo was okay, but like he has been for much of the season, not great. Um, not only did San Francisco just win without scoring an offensive touchdown, both number one seeds got beat today in their building. Both number one seeds got upset. The two teams that won combined for one offensive touchdown and no passing touchdowns, and they won. And they're both gone, the number one seeds. How about that? Um, how much of this is Aaron Rodgers' fault, Ryan Wilson? <laughs> None. Aaron Rodgers should be extremely angry at the special teams uh, for not holding up their end of the bargain. He, he did just about Scored everything ten, he, he could He only do. put up 10 points. Uh, whoa. He only put up 10 whoa. points. You're going to give him a total pass? <laughs> None. You're in a home in a playoff game. What? You barely cracked double digits. BMAC, go ahead. I see the hands. I call what? on you. What is Ryan talking about? <laughs> None. How much credit for this loss? Clearly, Aaron Rodgers deserves a lot of credit for this loss. Yes, you're right, Ryan. He didn't do anything special teams related. <laughs> he had nothing to do with the block field goal attempt. He had nothing to do with the block punt. But outside of that first initial drive where they drove the length of the football field, scored a touchdown, Aaron Rodgers didn't do anything. The entire office didn't do anything. And you know one thing about the quarterback position, especially if you're a future Hall of Famer, especially if you consider one of the best to ever do it, when things are going good, you get a lot of the praise. And when things are going bad, you get all, all, all of the criticism as well. So me personally, only scoring one touchdown, one touchdown in this ball game. 225 yards outside of the first drive. We saw nothing from Aaron Rodgers. I understand you can say, well, he, he, he was getting harassed. He was getting sacked. We saw Joe Burrow get sacked nine times in the earlier matchup and still deliver. So me personally, he deserves a lot of the criticism when it comes to this loss. Uh, they put up 10 points. Uh, I'll give you the last word here, Ryan. You can defend yourself if you like, and then we're going to get to what's next for him. But you see right here, now 0-4 against the 49ers in the postseason. It's not the first or second time Aaron Rodgers in the postseason has been upset. And two years in a row, he has lost in his building. Last year to Tampa in the NFC Championship game, and now. Now, last year wasn't his fault. You know, Tom Brady threw three picks in the second half, and they still, you know, couldn't get it done. Today, 10 points. Last word is yours, Ryan Wilson. How much of this is on Aaron Rodgers? I can't believe BMAX when I talk about Joe Burrow setting the world on fire. They scored one offensive touchdown. Evan McPherson was the hero of that game, BMAC. And by the way, kicker, special teams, that's what crushed the Packers in this game. Should Aaron Rodgers have done more? Could he have done more? Will he say in the postgame press conference he should have done more? Absolutely. And, and I get that. But it wasn't like he went out there like Ryan Tannehill and was throwing interceptions. Or even like Jimmy Garoppolo, who had that terrible interception in the first half. I suppose you want more out of your Hall of Fame quarterback. I suppose he feels like he should have done more. But Devontae Adams was running wide open, and he hit him just about every time. He hit Aaron Jones uh, on enough passes. We had over 120 receiving yards. It's just that the special team Teams didn't show up. And I'll give credit to Debo Samuel. He was the best player on the field, and he's been the best player on the field just about every week since the season started. And, and hats off to him, even though he got banged up at the end there, he got that critical first down to help move the change to set up that game-winning kick. All right. Um, Aaron Rodgers, we know about all of his, I want to go somewhere else, I'm not happy, uh, preseason stuff. And Devontae Adams is a free agent. He can leave. So either, neither, or both. 
who has played their last game as a Packer in Green Bay? Aaron Rodgers, Devontae Adams. Either, neither, or both. Brian McFadden. Mm. <laughs> Who's played their last game in Green Bay? Well, technically, they can franchise Devontae, so I don't think they'll allow him just to walk and, and ride off in the free So agency, either, so. neither, or both. I'm going to need an answer, Senator. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Let's 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 either. We'll come back to you, Ryan. You can go first while he me- while he meditates on this thing. Either, neither, or both. <laughs> Bmac took the fifth. Ek, uh, I'm going both. They're both coming back. And, and last year, I was convinced that Aaron Rodgers was done in Green Bay over the summer, given all the that sort of uh, lack of conversation between the two sides. I, I don't know if he has anything left to prove, but I think he had a good time this season. Things went much better than perhaps he thought they might go. And if Aaron is there, Devontae's not going to do better than Aaron Rodgers. Uh, very few places he could go and, and get the type, of, uh, the, the type of looks he got consistently from Aaron Rodgers with the type of precision and accuracy. So I think they both make their way back. This team is too good to break up right now. Uh, so I'm going to go both. All right, I'm going to go both too. Because I, I don't think it's going to be one or the other. And you mentioned, you can franchise Devontae Adams. I don't think Aaron Rodgers is going anywhere. This doesn't help, though. This, the, I, my, my percentage went down a little bit uh, as opposed to when I woke up this morning. BMAC, either, neither, or both. Who has played their last game in Green Bay? Devontae Adams, Aaron Rodgers. I'll side with you guys. I think they both come back. I All think right. both. So we think they're Clearly, both Clearly, Devontae back. can't go. Yeah, Devontae, they're not going to just trade Devontae, allow him to walk off in free agency. So I'll say both. All right, here we go. Let's let's go San Francisco now, and let's spin it forward. Better chance to go to the Super Bowl, Cincinnati or San Francisco, the two teams that pulled upsets and beat the number one seed. Both teams scored less offensive touchdowns than their opponent. They combined for one offensive touchdown, no passing touchdowns, and they're both alive. They got to go on the road. You don't know who they're going to play yet. Better chance to be yep. in the Super Bowl, San Francisco or Cincinnati as you sit here right now? Ryan Wilson. Man, I tell you what, I bring this up every time we talk with BMAC about this. That 05 Steelers team, they were upstart, six seed, went on the road, and kept beating people with a second-year quarterback. Look, I know it's going to be Buffalo and or Kansas City that the, the Bengals have to play, but they don't seem to care about who they're lined up against. And I have to take an offense – can't believe I'm going to say this. I trust the Bengals' offense a little more in terms of if you're behind and you need to throw the ball down the field, getting points. I don't know what Jimmy Garoppolo is going to give you if they're behind by 10, 14 points. You can't just lean on the running game. So I can't believe I'm going to say this. I think the Bengals have the better chance. I'm going to go with San Francisco, and I'll let BMAC break the tie. If the Rams win, and they might, San Francisco is built for them. Rams are light in the seat on defense. San Francisco is going to run downhill on them. They've already swept them and beat them twice. They're not going to be intimidated. I, I think they could easily win that game. And I don't know how healthy the Bucs are right now and how much they have left in the tank. And you're starting to hear Tom Brady retirement talk. I'm not saying either will happen, but I would take San Francisco. Break the tie, BMAC. Yeah, I'll take San Francisco as well. One thing about San Francisco, when you can run the football, that travels throughout the playoffs, and that's what we're seeing right now. And they're so physical. They just play bully ball. They want to beat you up. And, yes, EK, you're right. If they face off against the Rams, they have had a lot of success against the Rams harassing Matthew Stafford. And if they play against Tom Brady, Tom Brady is not a mobile quarterback. One thing that we know about San Francisco, they have ex- they have depth on the defensive line, and they have quite a few guys that can win their one-on-one matchups, especially against offensive linemen who might not be as healthy. So and, me personally, and BMAC, do they have the best defense left? San Francisco have the best defense left, true or false? True. That's yes. the other thing. True. <laughs> Ryan Wilson, yeah. are we yeah. all in favor for the Senators' motion up there that we're that, that San Francisco has the best defense left? No, that's right, and we we need to give credit to both Bosa and Warner for their comeback performances. If you want to call it that after they were injured last week, won a concussion and won the ankle injury. Fred Warner came up popping people, and uh, Nick Bosa took up the slack uh, for the rest of the game. So credit to those guys for as we point out. Well, it was a really good defense tonight and has probably the best remaining defense as we sit here. Well, not bad for a team that was out of it in week 18. Wasn't even going to make the playoffs. They needed a comeback. They needed a big win over the Rams, who they may see again. And San Francisco has been rolling since. And they just roll over Green Bay. And the Packers are done. I'm shocked. 
It's over. I thought the Packers were going to the Super Bowl. They are out. So there you go. Well done, gentlemen. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.